Well, they've gone and feed virtually the entire time. They know with Andrew Jones walking to the plate, the chances of him being able to put a ball out of the ballpark, it can happen. Instead, he grounds this one weakly, but foul along third for strike one. Andrew in the game, one for four with a base hit. But you do feel like you've moved into a different stadium now from, from earlier in the game. There, was, there wasn't this type of enthusiasm, but now They've definitely it's got here. the chop working right oh, yeah, now. Yeah, it's working now. Maselli on the hill for Houston. Pitching into his second inning. But JB, you are right. The fans know with one swing of the bat, Andrew Jones can end this game. Well, he has had that flair going back to his very first World Series for the dramatic home run. Back when he was a teenager, he had 29 during the season. And the thing about Andrew is he can hit the ball out of any part of the baseball field. That jam there, and he fought it off one ball and two strikes in a game one of this series. One of a 9 3 blowout for Houston, but he took the rocket out of the ballpark. You see how he turns on a fastball, but as JB said, he can do it out of center field, right center field as well. Behind in the count, one ball, two strikes. He's the leadoff hitter in the 11th. Swing and a miss. He strikes out. Maselli gets it. One gone in the Brave 11th. Well, this looks like a backup slider that starts in the middle of the plate and doesn't do anything. The ball just stays straight. Andrew sees it as a slider and tries to go out to get it, and it goes the other way. That's the kind of pitch that if you're a pitcher, if you could market that, you'd use it all the time. It's spinning one way. You, a hitter expects it to go away from him, and the ball sinks down and in. Here's Charles Thomas looking for his first hit today, which has turned into tonight. He is 0 for 4. Another guy, though, who needs to start swinging the bat a little better. Also, he's the kind of guy, if he gets on base, he can cause some problems on the base path as well. Inside around the thumbs, Eli Marrero has come to the on deck area. He is Bobby Cox's last remaining position player. He has had to use John Smoltz to hit for himself earlier. That worked out beautifully because Smoltz singled in the ninth, although he was stranded. And he was stranded at third base. Had he scored, the game would be over. So Marrero comes out. Bobby Cox has nobody left in terms of position players. And Marrero, also a catcher, of course, being used very late, moments away from being used. Ground ball by Bagwell and into right field for a base hit. He takes a big, big turn. He stumbled a little bit, but gets into first base safely. Thomas with a single with one down off Maselli. And this is a guy you want to have on a base pass right now. He gets a pitch middle in and pulls it right past Bagwell, who's actually guarding the line. So as a result, was not able to cover that pitch. But this is a guy now, a ball in the gap. He's scoring. He has that type of speed. Well, I've got to believe that somewhere along the line, Charles Thomas is going to take a chance to steal second base. We've got one out here. The Braves have got to get a runner to second base. And this guy's got the wheels to be able to do it. Thomas may be faster than for call. Marrero takes a breaking pitch outside. One to nothing. A 2-2 tie in the 11th inning. Marrero can hit. 320 with 10 home runs during the season. He drove in 40. It, it, yeah, it is interesting because J.D. Drew ran into an out. I, you don't know if Bobby wants to be that aggressive right now. You got a guy. If this if Morel's a pretty good hitter. If he gets a ball into these gaps, you're guaranteed to win this. He'll score. I don't know if you want to take a chance and run into another out. That's being overly aggressive, I think, if you try that. You know, earlier, David, you were talking about the Braves needing someone, a go-to guy inside the dugout, to fire up this ball club. And who might that be? As they have forged a tie here, it might be Chipper Jones. This is in between innings now. Look at what he does with Charles Thomas here. Yeah, but see, that's what I'm talking about. That's what you need to do. Chipper is the leader of this ball club, you know, and it means a lot when it's Chipper Jones rallying the troops. Rather forcefully. Popped him up right around the plate. Osmus still wearing the mask, but he's got it. Two down. Now, Jeff, this is when I would try to take the bag. Because if you're thrown out, you still have for a call leading off the next inning. So we'll see what Bobby Cox has in mind. We know he has in mind protesting this game because back in the seventh inning, he filed one. 
against Phil Gardner and the Houston Astros. For call, steps to bat now with two down in the 11th. The thing with Maselli is he's slow to the plate anyway. Osmus is a fine catcher, can throw very well, but Maselli is slow to the plate. The runner goes. A strike. The throw not in time. And Easy. it's a stolen base for Thomas. And that's not even that's not even close. Easy. The reason I was saying that earlier about Marrero is because you get a jump like this guy can get with the speed that he has and as slow as Maselli is to the plate, you know as well as I do that you elevate your game when you have a runner in scoring position. It may have made a difference for Marrero. It may not have. Who knows? We won't know that now. But maybe it'll make a difference for, for Cal right here. Well, he drove in 59 runs during the regular season. Did not get that one. And he is quickly behind nothing and two, but he had a single for an RBI in the seventh inning that made it two to one at the time. Well, this is an off speed pitch. Looks like a split finger that he throws. It's down and away from Furcal. Swings right over the top of it. Furcal needs to be thinking about just slapping the ball the other way, not pulling the ball out of the ballpark. The 0 2 moved him back on a jackknife, one and two. Because in this situation, especially with Thomas at second base, normally you're not going to score with a single to left field. But you've got Lane out there. He's playing deep. You slap this ball in the hole, Charles Thomas is probably going to score from second base, even on a single to left field. Well, he's going on contact. You know, he doesn't have to wait to see what happens. Slaying a drive right field. Way, way back. Turning Berkman, and it's gone. Atlanta wins it. Atlanta wins it. They tie the series. For Cole, no less, with a game winner, a walk off at Turner Field. Rafael for Cole says, Forget about slapping it, I'm going to win it.